Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 18th November, the Skyroot Aerospace scripted the history by launching Vikram S, the first rocket launched in space by Indian private sector company. The mission was named Prarambh, which rightly signifies the entrance of Indian private companies in space sector. Till the year 2012, there was only one Indian private sector company in space sector which has now increased to 47 by the year 2021. Imagine if just 10% of these companies succeed, then we will have at least 4 to 5 private aerospace companies capable of launching commercial satellites in space. Now this development is equally important for Indian defense sector as satellites are the eyes for the armed forces. China has developed the anti-satellite missiles and it won't be a surprise if Pakistan gets its hand on this technology. In the advent of full-fledged war, it's not going to be limited to land, air and sea, but it's going to extend to the fourth domain that is space. Indian adversary will try to destroy the Indian military and other ISR satellites to make it virtually blind. In those scenarios, not only ISRO, but these private sector firms are going to be a valuable asset for the Indian Armed Forces in quickly launching and replenishing the lost satellites. The two prominent private firms in the space sector are Skyroot Aerospace and Agni Cool Cosmos. We have already discussed about the Skyroot Aerospace and in today's video, we are going to talk about the Agni Cool Cosmos as very soon we are going to witness the launch of their first rocket. The name Agni Cool is not like Agni plus Cool but derived from Sanskrit word Gurukul. Back in olden days, students used to go to Gurukul for education. So the meaning of Agni Kul is a place to learn about fire and how to use them. They also have a very fascinating name for the launch vehicle or rocket. It is called Agni Ban, which means fire arrow. The Agni Let rocket engine is designed to be used in Agni Ban, a small satellite launch vehicle that will carry the payloads of up to 300 kilograms to a lower earth orbit, which company is currently developing. The engine that will power the rocket is called Agnilet. The Agnilet rocket engine is designed to be used in Agni Barn, which is a small satellite launch vehicle that will carry a payload of up to 300 kilograms to a lower earth orbit, which currently is under development. The Agnilet rocket engine is a semi-cryogenic engine. It uses a mixture of liquid kerosene at room temperatures and super cold liquid oxygen to propel itself. The idea behind setting up the Agni Cool is to develop the launch of a small lift vehicle such as Agni Ban capable of placing 100 kg payload into a 700 km orbit. Basically, the company is targeting small micro and nano satellites to lower earth orbit which has problems in accessing the space through conventional launch vehicles just like ola share or bus services the company's idea is to provide shared launch services to the small satellites reducing the cost and the long wait time to launch the launch vehicle agni ban will be customizable depending on the requirement the rocket will have overall length of 18 meters and diameter of 1.3 meter. It can lift 100 kilograms of payload to an altitude of 700 kilometers lower Earth orbit. The total lift of mass of this vehicle is 14,000 kg. Agni Ban can access both low and high inclination orbit and is completely mobile, designed for accessing more than 10 launch ports driven by LOX or kerosene engines in all its stages Agniban is configurable by the customer it does not fly with the same number of engines all the time the mission the satellite and the launch port itself would decide how many engines go on the first stage the biggest achievement of Agnikul Cosmos has been testing of the 3D printed engine and it became the world's first company to achieve this in early 2021. They have developed a 3D printed semi-cryogenic rocket engine called Agnilet. This entire program is just one piece of hardware from start to finish and has zero assemble part. Typically, an engine has more than 100 parts built and assembled separately. 
If you look at the main sub parts of engine, there are fuel injectors, igniters and cooling channels. Agnilet is a single piece of hardware which combines all these three components into one. Therefore, the company does not have to spend days on complex assembly of parts and the entire setup is ready within four days. This also increases reliability of the engine as there are no assembled components. Talking about its development progress, the company is working on testing and integration of various subsystems of Agniban. They have successfully designed, realized and qualified their engines. They have also successfully fabricated all propulsion subsystems such as pumps and motors and are actively placing orders for many large components of the vehicle such as tanks and structural subsystems. Agnikul Cosmos is planning to test launch its two-stage booster Agniban in December 2022. And based on the findings of the test launch, the startup plans to conduct a commercial launch with customer payload in March or April 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.